one of the most difficult to get to identify. But if you guys look at this problem, we've talked about two definitions of derivatives so far. So if you want to kind of follow my lead here, you'd say, well, Mr. McGlogan, you, you said there's three definitions of a derivative. We've kind of covered two. So why don't we just go on the hint that the next one is this third definition. But we've got to remember what that third definition is. Third definition looks like this. Limit as h approaches 0 of f of c plus h minus f of c all over h. So we got to think again. What is c? c is the value of the function, the point where we're trying to find the derivative. h is going to be the like, distance between the two points that we're like, connecting in there. So what's confusing about this, the only difference between here and here, x is arbitrary. Here, x is a value. So if you can really think about this, we replaced x with c. We replaced x with a number. So if we're trying to figure out what f of x is, the best idea, I would say, is go take c and put back an x. And then you can identify what the function is. So let's try to figure out what the function is. Well, anywhere I see a 2, I realize that is my c, right? Because I'm kind of plugging in. You can see I plugged in 2 here. So these are all my c's. So I'm going to replace this with an x. And then obviously the h, like, we don't really care of the plus you know, delta x or plus h. I just want to know what the x is. So I can realize the function is 5x squared minus um, x plus 7. Anybody have any questions on how I found that function? Takes a couple steps. Takes, a couple, takes some practice to get to us. But again, this is really x plus h. But if I just want to find the function f of x, I don't really want to add the h. I just really want to know f of you know, x. Or again, you can think about it this way. This probably is a little bit easier. c is what we're evaluating the function for, right? So let's just replace f of c with f of x. So if you take this function and replace, if you replace the 2's with the x's, you get that function, right? Yes? Like this, guys. Look, look over here. f of x minus f of a. You're plugging in a into the function. Here, you're plugging in 2 into the function. But we don't really want to plug into it. We want to know what f of x is. That's what we're trying to find, is f of x. So to find f of x, we just replace the 2's with the x. And we get that function. Now. Again, we're trying to find the derivative. This is really trying to find the derivative at what value? Or what value are we trying to find the derivative at? What is the value we're plugging in? 2. So really, what we're trying to find is f prime of 2. So to do that, first thing we want to do is to find f prime. Well, actually, this is really trying to find f prime of 2. So to do that, let's find f prime of x, which is going to be 10x minus 1. So therefore, to find f prime of 2, we're going to do 10 times 2 minus 1 equals 19. Okay, I got a whole worksheet on these. <laughs>